my name is Lucy, and uh, I'm from True Colors. I'm now learning in Big English Level 5, and today I'm going to present about phones. Yay! So happy! Okay, not really, but yeah. Uh, right, Nokia. Uh, everybody knows Nokia, right? It's having numbers too, and having a big screen with the uh, numbers and other stuff in here for you to call anyone. And it has the snake game! This is the snake game. I love it so much. I was going to steal any phone that have Nokia and have snake game. I will go into the table. Okay. Um, and the function, some, some phones function nowadays having uh, the Samsung one can flip, can like, you can do like this book now. It can be this, like this, or like this, or I don't know. Yeah, it has a small screen here too. It's really convenient, aren't it? And it's really small. You don't need to put a big antenna in your pocket. And fun facts time. Fun facts, please. Okay, fun facts. So fun facts number one. Actually, the first, uh, the first reading from phone is uh, from telephone, uh, except Alexander Graham Bell uh, used a hi to say hello to people from this to this wire. But now, um, but then Edison, Thomas Edison, think that if you use hello to greeting will be a better decision, and it's now more than like talking on phones. You can like greeting people when you're walking. Hello, hello, Mia, hello, Lucy. And uh, fact number two, fact number two, uh, actually uh, before phones uh, to um, No, no, no letter, no more the letter to send. So it's a bad thing to do. You shouldn't have a pigeon like this. Get out. So really, thank you to uh, listening to my uh, really bad presentation. I know. Um, good. Okay, can you give uh, the the beautiful image? I love you so much. For I always talk for my presentation. Three hotels. Wherever we go, we have to book hotels to stay in just for a few days because if you left it, your wallet will probably cry right now. You have like zero dollars in your account and you're like forgetting others for money. Next, we're at London. Don't, uh, don't care about the time scale, we just like, yeah, we just teleport there. We, we don't go by plane. We also have fish and chips. We are for us. Is that weird for you? Yes, totally. Yeah, you eat chip. We eat chip with a fried thing and fish also fried thing. We'll see that image later. And yeah, but this is not a bad combo for them. Though. It's a traditional thing there. And we also have sticky tofu pudding, which is the thing you see here. Probably it look like some kind of brownies, which that with that caramel sauce and that ice cream was also the milk tea with black black pearl and black sugar flavor. Yeah, that's really yummy. You have to try that. Moving on, vacation schedule plan. Page three. There. So you think we should do that normal, like normal people, which is boring, or do sightseeing the whole city while bungee jumping? <laughs> Next thing. They send two days. Washington, here I come. Have to visit the White House, but yeah. Anyway, sorry, don't have time. It's not the time, but it's your Biden time. Your name. Don't have to but don't be sad though. Your name will still always be remembered when we eat McDonald's. Because we're gonna eat that anyway. Hello everyone, my name is Judy from Jellyfish class and today I'm gonna 
to present about computers. First computer. The first computer was invented between 1831 and 1871. It worked for nearly 40 years and was powerful enough to do simple calculations. It was named the ABC and weighed more than 700 pounds, which is about 370 kilograms. That's heavy. I wouldn't want a computer sitting in my room like that. It was bigger than 10 meters. Well, would you guys want a computer that big in your room and was only simple enough to do calculations? No. Do it by myself. The modern computer. The modern computer is both simple and complicated. Leg weight, small, square or rectangle, you can carry it anywhere. It can do many things such as storing data, calculating algorithms, or displaying information. You can play games on it, or you can go on the internet to learn. Now we can move on to desktop, laptop, and tablets. A desktop contains a motherboard, a processor, and a monitor. It's very big. I have one in my school. We can't bring the desktop anywhere because it has a lot of wires and plugins. But with a laptop, you can bring it anywhere because it's very small, lightweight. But it's expensive, I have to say. Mine costs more than 20 million. A tablet is, or an iPad is like a mini version of a laptop. Steve Jobs wanted to invent it because he thought that he wanted to bring the laptop anywhere. So yeah, he created a tablet. Like me, my mom and I has a tablet from Mac and Apple, which is very good. Next, Mac OS and Windows are two of the most popular operating systems that we use. Do you guys use Windows or Mac OS? Mac OS. Windows. Windows. Window. Yeah. Window. I guess most of you really use Windows because it's much cheaper than Mac OS. Mac OS is very expensive. Well. This is the second time I say this is the end of presentation. <laughs> well, this is the end of our presentation. I'm gonna be off for my math test now. Bye guys, I'm gonna